You've obviously seen this in some recent videos, uh, but this is my new Gibson Explorer and very happy to get it. It is a 2007 model. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you may remember that I had an Explorer very similar to this um, back around that time, 2007, 8, 9. Uh, it was my main guitar for quite a while. Um, I could really get into some stories with that, but I'll, I'll hold off for, for a few. Um, but basically, yeah, I've used this in a couple of videos already. I did a cover of Blink-182's Kaleidoscope using this guitar for some parts. And I also did a cover of a dinosaur pileup song. And the only difference between um, right now and those videos is that had the um, original to the guitar pickups uh, for when I got it. Um, I have since swapped them out. Those were EMG 85 X's in both the bridge and the neck. This now has a Seymour Duncan Custom 5 in the bridge and a 59 Seymour Duncan in the neck. Um, the neck pickup isn't super um, important to me. I mean, I don't use the neck pickup very often, but it's nice to have one that's, um, you know, good at its job. Um, but really my focus has been on the bridge for a while and I was, I was thinking about what I wanted for a pickup in this guitar for a little while because, um, you know, getting the right pickup in a guitar is important and I really originally wanted to do Gibson custom buckers, which really only come in custom shop Gibson guitars, and you can't get them secondhand. You can only get them on the used market, and most people want a lot of money for them, and I just really wasn't up to spending a ton of money for pickups that I didn't need. Um, but then I was just going back through some of my older posts on Instagram, and I had remembered this yellow jazz master that I had made. Um, the body was mahogany, which is uh, pretty uncommon for what I go for. I usually go for like an ash or an alder body. Um, but mahogany just has a different kind of quality to it that reacts differently to certain pickups compared to other types of woods. And I remembered that I had used a Seymour Duncan Custom 5 pickup in that for the first time, and I loved it. I thought it was a great sounding pickup. So I took a chance and put it in this, and it's a great match. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I did put some blank black covers over the pickups. They're made out of plastic. You can actually hear it. You know, they're not metal or anything like that. That's the only real downside is if you pick a certain way, you might hear yourself hit the pickup, which isn't really a huge concern of mine. You don't really notice it in recordings or anything like that, so it's not a huge deal. Um, but I just really like the look of the pickups like this, because I, I like the EMG look in an Explorer like this. Um, and when, back when I had um, my original Explorer, which was just like this, it did have EMGs in it, and I just I just really connected with that, uh, that sort of look. But I, admittedly, I'm just not a huge EMG fan these days. It really depends on the guitar. Um, I've used them in some jazz masters that worked out really well, but um, really not a big fan of them in, in Gibson style guitars or anything like that. They just sound too muffled, too uh, too muddy for my taste. Um, I did put a new whole set of electronics in. It's got new pots. It's got a new jack. It's got a new uh, toggle switch in it. Um, because the guy who did own this guitar um, clearly did not um, ever get like any sort of maintenance done. Those and they were, you know, 15 years old at this point, so they just needed a little bit of TLC. Um, so yeah, what, what's interesting about this guitar? It's got um, like a vintage white finish, which is very hard to find. I found out I was looking for quite a while for something like this, something that wasn't. Um, like too beat up. I mean, it definitely does have some road rash. It's got some serious dings and stuff on the back. It's got a couple chips out over here, but wasn't really, um, really wasn't a problem for me. Um, the ebony fretboard is is pretty uh, unique to this guitar because for whatever reason, 
at least around 2007, they really only put them on the white explorers, and I don't really know why, um, but if you get like a black one or the natural explorer, or they have a, like a wine red um, or heritage cherry, whatever they call it, those all came with rosewood prep boards. And I love rosewood, but for whatever reason, um, I knew I just had to get the model just like the one that I had back in the day. And really, this was the one guitar I always regretted selling. Um, if you if you go look on my Instagram, you'll see pictures of me um, with it, you know, ages ago. Or if you go on YouTube and find some really old videos, you'll definitely find it. Um, it did have a black pick guard. Um, originally came like this, but um, uh, me and my dad actually spray painted it. I just thought it was a cooler look at the time. Uh, but for most of its life, when I played it, it had the white pick guard. Um, anyway. Um, I just I've been thinking about explorers for a really long time you know I always consider you know maybe I should go back and, and try one again um, and they're just not a super popular guitar so they were never really in any of the shops that I went to and there was always that thought in the back of my head you know maybe it's mostly nostalgia maybe like I won't really agree with it um, like I did back then because I was much more of a Gibson player back in the day um, I played mostly Les Pauls, Explorers, and I did have an SG at the time. Um, but I really didn't play a lot of like Fender type guitars, which I just kind of gravitated towards. And so I decided to just give it a shot. I was like, you know what? I got a baby on the way. I got like, I, I had a couple guitars that I knew just weren't going to stay. And I was like, you know, I just, this is the time if I'm going to try out and explore again like I gotta try it now and I'm really glad I did you know I've been playing it for the last I don't know month month and a half I don't remember exactly when I got it but um, man I've been having an absolute blast playing this thing it's been it's been really great it feels really nice the frets are still great and it's just it's really easy to play and it's just got such a cool vibe to it I always really liked the shape and the look and I always thought it just suited me as a player really well um, I remember my friends always telling me that too you know you don't see a ton of people playing explorers but they they always said that you know it, it suited me suited me well which I definitely agree with um, so you know after considering wanting one and you know for a while um, I just started listening to a lot of music again that just reminded me of Back when I used to play the Explorer, I was, you know, I was listening to like a lot of the mid two thousands like emo bands. I was always jamming like Census Fail and other stuff, you know, along those lines. Um, back when I had this kind of guitar, and I also like I, I kind of rekindled my love for Kobe and Cambria. I hadn't listened to them um, very much, um, but Claudio Sanchez is a huge explorer player he plays a couple other little things occasionally but it's almost always explorer and i always thought that was great i really got into the band dinosaur pile up over the last year he plays an explorer almost exclusively um a bunch of other bands um the guy from weezer i forget his name brian maybe or i, I forget um but yeah he the, it's the lead guitar player. He mostly plays Explorers. Um, and I don't know, I just kept seeing him everywhere. It's, it's like one of those things where like, I don't know, you can't get him out of your mind. So I said, screw it, I'm gonna look for one. And I finally found one, the closest version to the one that I had uh, back in the day. I believe mine was a 2006 originally. I'm not 100% sure on that, I believe it was. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this is really, as close as I would need to get. Um, so, kind of a tangent, I guess. Back when I was like 16, 17, and I had bought this guitar, it wasn't my main guitar at the time, um, but I really did like it. I played it a good amount. It was kind of like my metal guitar uh, because, I, like I said, I did put EMGs in it. But my main guitar at the time was this Les Paul that I had. I had a Cherry Burst, it's a Les Paul Classic, and I'm sure anybody that's followed me for a while remembers that guitar. I actually had two of them. Um, 
at different times, but they were essentially the same guitar. Um, but I had the Les Paul, and one day I actually, actually dropped it on concrete. Um, I was out at my school, and the strap locks that were on it, they were the Schaller style um, strap locks, and they just came loose. And I wasn't holding on to the guitar because I had gotten a phone call. So I had my phone up to my ear and like all my friends were like just hanging out and the guitar just came loose, fell flat on the pavement. And it, it didn't destroy the guitar or anything, but it broke the toggle switch, which is up here on Les Paul, broke that off. It scraped up the binding really badly. And, um, I was super bummed and I just kind of stopped using that guitar as much just because that incident had bummed me out so much so I still had my SG which is the one I ended up using um, for the school thing um, and then I had my Explorer and so those kind of became my main guitars for a while and eventually I decided that I really needed to upgrade my amp situation so what I ended up doing is I went to a local shop, I brought the SG, which really wasn't my main guitar, at least, you know, it wasn't my favorite guitar to play, and I brought the, the banged up Les Paul, and I traded it in for a half stack PV, I had a PV valve thing for quite a few years, and I had gotten an Epiphone Les Paul at the same time too, it was like a lemon burst, I used it on a couple videos. Um, but I really didn't like that guitar very much. Um, but because of all that, the Explorer became my main guitar for a couple years. And for a while, I had forgotten why I had gotten rid of the Explorer eventually. But what I eventually found out, because I had written out this, this Word document um, with a bunch of like FAQ questions and one of the questions was why did you sell your explorer i was like oh i completely forgot why i sold the explorer so i was reading it and i guess at the time this must have been like 2010 or so um i just really had the itch to get an, uh, a les paul again and so i sold the explorer i don't even remember how much i got for it probably like eight or nine hundred bucks i probably didn't get as much as i should have and I bought another Les Paul Classic, just like the one that I used to have. And granted, that wasn't my favorite color. I really did not like the color, um, which was like a cherry burst. Um, but for whatever reason, that was the color I just kept getting good deals on. And that being said, I loved that guitar. I played the crap out of that Les Paul for quite a few years. But in the back of my mind, I was always like, I shouldn't have sold the Les or it's shouldn't have sold the Explorer like I should have found a way to have both and I should have sold something else and I don't know it took me another 11 almost 12 years to finally dive back in and I'm just I'm really glad I did you know I'm really glad I was able to find a white one um, really it's more of a cream color but this is just like the one that I used to have and I don't know it's just been a blast playing it and um, yeah, I, I think they're super underrated guitars. Um, a lot of people really just um, put them, you know, in, in, a, in a box, you know, saying like, this is a metal guitar, basically. And it's so much more than that. I mean, like I said, the guys from Weezer uh, have played it. Uh, Leonard Skinner, I'm pretty sure. Um, there was almost always a guy playing an Explorer. Um, tons of other guys and it's it's much more than just a, a metal guitar I mean granted it became very famous because of James Hetfield um, but it's it's so much more than that and if you've ever considered trying an Explorer I highly suggest it they're super cool really really underrated it, it plays just as well as a Les Paul if you like Les Pauls but um, I don't know it's just got a different kind of vibe to it you know they're just killer, killer guitars. So, 
Uh, that's that's really all I got to say. I mean, I'll definitely be using this guitar in more videos in the future. I'll be recording with it as soon as I can. And yeah, that's that's the story of me and Explorers in a nutshell. So super happy, like I said, to get this back. And um, I, I would be shocked if I got rid of this thing, truly. I, I really would because that was a mistake. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you guys soon. And definitely check out that pickup too. If you have like a Gibson style guitar, especially something with a mahogany body, and you're looking for a good rock pickup, the Seymour Duncan Custom 5 is awesome. I can't, I can't recommend it enough. Really, really nice. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.